What's up everybody? Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I want to talk about Final Fantasy XIV, and more so, I want to talk about what we might expect to see in the future, expansions, installments, patch notes, what I would personally like to see, and also what other fans would like to see as well. And at the end of the video, I plan on doing a review on what there is that, you know, really give my insight and my view on the Stormblood expansion, how I feel about Final Fantasy XIV overall, and how I feel like in the future they could really make... Oh, 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 Final Fantasy XIV, such a great MMO, with a great fan base, a community, a great game for new and annual fans, players, everyone alike. We've had ups and we've had downs like all MMOs and all games overall. Some even I didn't experience going through. The series has been amazing and a great doorway for new fans to open up and try to jump into the series. With all kinds of different views and opinions out there, let's really dive in to just see what exactly Final Fantasy XIV could offer into the future. First off, let's just get it out of the way. Um, one of the things that is most, you know, it, it's already happened, it's going into plan, it's already a change. A lot of other countries are getting a price increase on the game, and some people aren't so happy about that. Now, keep in mind, not all countries will have the price increase. The reason we're having it is due to Square really just wanting to level out the price rate between other countries. And that's just a real biggie to some people, but, you know, it will not affect everybody. And also another thing to look forward to, uh, if you're demonic and heartless and you just love difficulty, is another thing to expect is, of course, the Shin Ryu difficulty raise uh, it's coming we all know it let's get used to it it's hard it's just gonna get harder so expect that to come as well Shinrayu Ooh, I get cold chills already all right now let's really start to dig into this first off let's get into jobs with every new expansion we've had, a lot of installments that really changed the game, overall, gameplay, and story. With these changes, so it seems, we always get a new job class, one which fans have tried in the past to already predict. Some would nearly die to play. The Blue Mage. Sort of a mix between different elemental magics. Sometimes silly, but serious in nature and very useful job with offensive and defensive magics. It would make a great DPS class and would fare useful as a backup healer. It would be a funny addition to see with the eat ability is implemented as well to you know at least appeal to the weaker foes. I know some people would see it kind of as a joke with the blue mage coming as a playable character, but uh, you know it could also welcome welcome a new race. Uh, typically, it could open up a new area. It could be a really fun job class to master, mainly on the simple fact of having to really get into play with the DPS and the healer aspects of it as well, which it could really be a big help into a party. The next job I would really like to see come into everything. I personally would really love to see, and I doubt I'm the only one in saying this, I would love to see the Espers come into the story and be an actual job to play as. I predict they could start things off kind of like the Red Mage of the Samurai, come in, maybe start instead of 50, start off at level 60. I mean, come on, it's an Esper. And I feel like it should be a tank that is more so focused on the magics to keep the enemy's attention while the DPS ticks away at the enemy's health, with healing abilities good enough to keep the character alive long enough during the process. Possibly creating a boosted version of Protect for the character, a party could 
a party raise would also be something really nice to come into play. A party party raise, my bad, also uh, would just be something like multiple members uh, being cast off from a single spell. That sounds a little crazy, but it could really help out with this being a job, especially towards the healer. Bringing multiple people back to life, that is. And I also feel like the party raise would be a great, great implementation to put into more than just the espers, but an all-around move for other job classes as well. Uh, being the blue mage and the esper, it would just help and make so much sense for both classes to be able to do so. In Stormblood, we didn't receive any new playable races, which, as much as I love my Lollafell, I would have really loved to have seen something new like a playable race come into the expansion. Though they did include a race I would really love to see playable, and that's the Lupin. The Lupin, I feel like, would be a great race to make playable in the next installment, just basically because the design is already there. So it may be possible, after all, we were teased with, you know, you giddy beforehand, so you never really know. And uh, they really did tease a lot of uh, action going on with the Lupin there. There are other races I would love to see as well, like the Viera. It was already mentioned once in an interview with Yoshi. He didn't pry away, you know, from the idea, but he did mention, however, that their shoes would be really difficult to implement into the video game, which that I didn't really understand. You know, but what can you say? Uh, maybe, you know, it, it really does play a big look into their role, having the uh, the whole high heels thing. So maybe it would be hard to implement, but it would really be awesome, especially with me playing Final Fantasy twelve right now, going through the series with my playthroughs. It would just be a really cool tip or nod of the head to actually just see get added to Final Fantasy fourteen. Another race I would be super stoked to see, and I, I can really say I would love it so much, would be the Ronso. Such a great race that, in my personal opinion, you know, it's, it's one of my favorite races, and I really feel like it is just completely underused. Uh, they've mentioned a, a little Final Fantasy ten like things coming into the game, but it would definitely be a dream come true in the next expansion to see the Ronso as a playable character. Ah, oh, the Ronso. Could you only imagine being a Ronso Dragoon? Kumari! With every expansion and some patch updates, it's a given that we'll always have more mounts installed as the game goes on. In my opinion, these would make things easier on a game dev and more fun for all of us altogether in general if they would add one simple thing and that's starting off with something I've been uh, talking about for quite some time at least since I've got my first set of keys and that is to have customizable Magitek armor. I know Magitek armor is already in the game but I would just love to see customizable Magitek armor. It would be so fun for all fans, and, you know, it would be kind of like something to add into the game for a completionist, at least, to be able to go through and have more things to do. It would add a lot more side content into the game, maybe even a lot more cutscenes. That would also truly be something amazing, and overall, add a lot more creativity to your character and your mounts you know everybody kind of rocks most of the same ones this would set you aside and make you a little bit different from everything else and also i keep barking up this tree i doubt it will ever happen i would love to see it happen but it's most likely never going to and that would be a mount that can actually scale walls it would just make things so much easier when you're trying to get the Aether Currents. Uh, they can be a nightmare at times. Trying to get the most simple one, it could just be right above you. If only you could scale a wall.
With the story making Prommel's a huge part of the series, it's another given we will see more. A few we may even yield on the edgy side, which would be nice. I would really love to see some new edgy. When summon over the years or guardian force i would love to see become a promel and an edgy would be uh definitely something i feel is underrated as far as it goes it would be pretty simple with the design uh it could really play a lot like out like garuda but it would be quesicodal from final fantasy 8 the guardian force i feel it is just incredibly underused in the series and it would just be great for it adding extra DPS for the summoner, which we all know would be awesome. Ooh, this is getting spicy in here. Now, next on the menu, something that is very spicy, not e free. We have Valfor. <laughs> An Aeon from Final Fantasy X, another summon I feel would be great to add to the summoners. Just little list of edgy it could be so much bigger it's also incredibly underused i would just really really like to see it come into play it could probably work out a lot like bahamut but actually continue to stay on the field a lot longer be a lot weaker in force naturally uh maybe play out a lot like garuda also but with more of a bang and less support it, it really wouldn't be hard and for the love of god the last edgy we could possibly need we all want it it's been implemented every way possible you've teased us for years and with this ah, so much you've given us a mount the promel so much we want Fenrir square we want Fenrir it would not be that hard give us any of these models they are all great there's just not enough love and not enough that could be said this needs to be an edgy Okay, with predictions out of the way and what we really want to see happen with the game and things we really hope will happen with the game, it's time to actually give the review. And it is, I'll just put it blunt, it's a great title with, you know, it, that's really something to say. It would be an understatement, uh, but I got to give the game uh, just the, the points it really deserves. I know what you're thinking. It should be a 10, but me personally, I just thought that it was an 8.5 out of 10. And that's mainly because of this. I know you're thinking, how is this just not a 10 out of 10? It was amazing. And it was. I'm not saying it was a bad game. Of course, you know, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. That is a very modest score for a video game especially now in 2017 with all kinds of different titles being released but to break it down uh, i had to take just a little bit away from the story uh, i was hoping it would be a little bit longer just a little longer the character development was a five out of five no doubt i really thought that we could do with more voice acting though that was actually a big thing to me i was actually thinking there would be a lot more voice acting with it being deep biggest most anticipated installment in quite some time the way they hopped it up but i suppose they used a lot of that money to pay voice actors on marketing so that really had just a really big toll on the score that i would give it another thing would be the game development uh, i just deducted it about half a point for that me giving it about a 4.5 out of 5 the game development was amazing from beginning to end that story you know they just keep you so grasped in with the characters hitting you on the fields all along the way add-ons definitely a five out of five i wish there would have been a few more things just like any other person would of course but no doubt add-ons five out of five they did a very good job and the difficulty race i cannot really stress on that difficulty raise so many people are talking about how a lot of the things throughout the earlier part of the game is a lot easier shinrayu and lambard is all i have to say <laughs> but an 8.5 out of 10 that that's a pretty good score for any game 
and hopefully we can actually get some of these things throughout this video within the next expansion or installment maybe even a patch update very doubtful for a patch update because usually stuff like that is so big but it would definitely be amazing to see but if you like what you've seen here maybe you can actually catch one of the streams sometime i would love to have you in the live chat always cool stuff going down there feel free to follow the instagram or even the facebook subscribe here on youtube for more final fantasy videos i am out of here everybody and hopefully you can catch me on stream take it easy everyone